Joe, good to talk to you. Um, didn't see you after the Cardiff game. Was that that night maybe not your your greatest night? And it was time. Did you need a bit of a rest? You played a hell of a lot. Uh, no, I think that's an excuse because we had a few weeks off before that game. Okay. It's the uh, it's nature of the game. Highly competitive position. Everyone was saying how good I was against the Bristol game. I took all the praise. So when you have a bad one and you get replaced, you got to take it on the chin, which I have. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there this weekend if selected because the last game out here was a very enjoyable one for me personally. You're experienced enough to take that. It's maybe harder for a younger player, but it's still something you reflect on and you have to go away and uh, have a little think about it maybe? Um, well, like I said, like, I've been coming here a few times this year and you've been telling me how good I'm going, so I haven't got, <laughs> I haven't got too, too excited about, yeah, more experience, you know, like, you have a bad one sometimes and I tell you what, that was a lot easier when quite a lot of you have a bad one but you still win. And you look at that table and see the position we're in, a lot of us got minutes this year, we've got a big squad and a lot of us have played a lot of rugby, so we're in a healthy position squad-wise, we're confident, you know, our home form is good, so... I think whoever goes out there on a weekend will be confident, so yeah, not too, not too worried. Thanks for bringing it up anyway. That's all right. <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, two out of two is, is a good, in this weird phase where you play a game and you stop and you start, and, and now it's a run of hard games one after the other. Is that actually preferable to, to having to play a game and then switch off again? Or not so much from mm. training and stuff, but actually not, there's no chance of playing because they're closed weekends. I think everyone would be different. I, I like being in the rhythm of playing week to week, and uh, but obviously some people like the like the breaks. And I think everyone's different. So whatever works for yourself, you got to do, I suppose. So obviously what I'd done before, the last break didn't work, so I was in a lot more this break. So yeah, is uh, we've been in tough periods before. Though, at the beginning of the season, we had a very tough period in and around the Champions Cup as well. And, but the early wins we got, I think, have put us in good stead now. So yeah, we're ready for another tough run. The Lions, what are you expecting? Is it, you know, I suppose we always think of South African sides. They're big, they're awkward, but they're pretty skillful as well. And they've got some, they've got some good team stats around what they've been doing through the competition. Yeah, I mean, a lot of their talk about the stats, a lot of their attack stats are, are right up there. And uh, to be honest, the we have our previews about teams all week by the coaches, and it's one of the most praises the coaches have ever given the team this year is, is to the Lions. So. We're definitely aware of what are against this week. They're the best torn side from South Africa, so it's going to be a tough one, but obviously we're very confident with what we do and what we produce out here, so we'll make sure we put our game down on them. Your mate O'Sheen's out for a while as well. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do for a player in your position? Do you, do, do you cajole him along or do you leave him alone because he's becoming into doing his rehabs and stuff? Do you, do you encourage him to, to stay part of your second row group when he's doing that? I don't think we need to encourage, I think it comes, it's more organic, I think we're a, not just a group of locks, but we're a tight group of lads and obviously we ain't got the biggest training ground, so we're going to be around each other all the time anyway. <laughs> and uh, like I said earlier, all, all of us locks have paid a lot, a lot of minutes, so I don't think he'd be out for too long either, so he'd be ready and he'd be fresh for the business end. It's not a huge training ground, no, but the development yeah. has started, I mean, it's, it must be very obvious that this plan is now starting to come to fruition. So maybe you'll have, you know, it'll be so big when that's built, you'll have yeah, to contact yeah. each other. But have you been talking about that, that the fact that this has now reached the stage where the diggers are in? Yeah, we're excited. Obviously, a lot of people have been told for years that it's going to come eventually, and I feel a bit lucky I've turned up this year and it's already getting done. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, obviously the videos we've seen, the, the graphics, everything is, is an exciting future for the club, and, and I think the area needs it. And um, you just got to get a win, win inside, which you are at the moment, to go with it. Good luck on Saturday if you're selected, and uh, hope it goes really well for you. Thank you.